हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल व्हिच नेम इज पावर बीआई फुल कोर्स बाय शुभम एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू से थैंक्स टू एवरीवन हु जेन्युइनली सपोर्ट दिस चैनल सो आई होप यू गाइस आर लर्निंग सो मेनी थिंग्स ऑफ पावर बीआई विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस फ्री YouTube चैनल एंड हियर आई एम आल्सो गोइंग टू क्रिएट अनदर प्लेलिस्ट व्हिच नेम वुड बी पावर बीआई एडवांस टॉपिक सो हियर अंडर दिस प्लेलिस्ट गाइस आई एम गोइंग टू कवर सम एडवांस टॉपिक्स ऑफ पावर बीआई सो लेट्स बिगिन आवर क्लास so our today's class topic is incremental refresh i know guys many of them are already aware about this incremental refresh but this channel is for everyone either it's experienced or newbie no matter it is so therefore i will cover each and every concept in detail so that you guys can understand everything i know guys some of you may be watch other youtuber videos to understand the concept of incremental refresh but i know guys still few people are confused because you guys have not practiced that concept with practical but i guarantee guys after watching this video you guys are clear with all the confusion about incremental refresh so let's start our class and one more thing guys you guys should have knowledge about scheduled refresh and gateways because if you guys have no idea about scheduled refresh and gateway so there might be difficulty guys to understand this concept so in my full course power bi playlist guys i have explained each and every concept in detail So firstly guys you have to complete that playlist and then you guys can start with this new playlist with advanced topic of power bi now let's firstly understand why incremental refresh is needed so guys what happened when you import any data from any of the source like sql oracle or any of the source or any server so on those server organization stored large amount of data like 5 years 10 years or even more So if you guys wants to transform that data into power query editor window so it takes few seconds to transform but once you clean the data into power query editor and if you try to load that data into power bi desktop and sometimes it will take more time to load all the data into power bi desktop so to avoid this long processing hours what we can do we can transform all the data into power query editor and we can set parameter with specific date range and we can load specific time period of data into power bi desktop so after setting up the parameter guys it will take less time to load the data into power bi desktop and we can easily create our report and now let's understand this thing with practical so let's go to our power bi desktop screen and now guys we have entered in power bi desktop screen so before apply the incremental refresh let me show you one excel file so here i have taken cricketers data like cricketers name countries region age strike rate runs and date and here under this date column guys i have taken last 5 years of data with start from 2019 till 2023 and firstly guys i will import that data into power bi desktop so i'll go here in power bi desktop and simply import that data so i will click here in this excel workbook and here under this desktop guys our file name is incremental refresh and now i will select this file and click open so here is our file guys let me select this and now i will click transform data so see guys the moment i click on transform data it takes only few seconds to load entire data but if i do close and apply so it take more time to load that data into power bi desktop so we have only 1800 records so that's why it's loading quickly but let's suppose if we have more than 1 million or 2 billion record so it might take more hours to load your data into power bi desktop so to avoid such thing guys we can set up manage parameter on date column so that we can load only specific time period of data and on the basis of that data set we can create our report and finally we can apply incremental refresh and in power bi services we can load specific time period of data and we can refresh it accordingly as per our project's requirement so we will follow all the steps to apply incremental refresh so firstly we have to set parameters under date column so let's go to power query editor and here i will select date column so here we can see we have this date column and i will simply go here in this manage parameter and click here on this new parameter and here guys we will create two parameter so the first parameter name would be range start 
and the second parameter name would be range and that means what is your start date and what is your end date so firstly i will enter range start so while renaming this parameter guys you need to keep in mind one thing that r and s is in caps that is the predefined naming convention guys which we need to follow so if you give any other renaming convention guys so there might be chance your parameter will not set up correctly so we have to follow the same name which is range start and r and s should also be in caps and from here guys you need to select the data type let's say date and time and from here guys you guys can select any of the value and here i will take the date let's say december 01 2023 and time would be let's say hours minutes and seconds and in a similar way guys i will create one more parameter so i will simply click here on this new button and again we have to follow the same renaming convention so here i will take range and and letter r and letter e is in also caps and from here guys we need to select the data type which is date and time and here under end date parameter guys you guys can take only that date which you want to load your specific time period of data so i want to load only december 2023 data instead of last 5 years data so here i will write december 31st 2023 and again i will write hours minutes and seconds and now hit okay so here we guys can see both the parameter our range start date is december 1 2023 and our range date would be december 31st 2023 and from here guys you need to change the data type first which is date and time so if you select only date data type guys so there might be chances parameter will not work so let me change the data type first which is date time and now guys firstly you need to click here on this drop down and select this date and time filter option and simply you need to go here under this custom filter and from here under this drop down guys you need to select that operator which is is after or equal to and from here guys you need to select your parameter so my first parameter would be range start and here under the second drop down guys you need to select is before or equal to and again you need to select the parameter from here and here i will select range and and now i'll click okay so see guys the moment i set up the parameter my whole data is filtered with only december 2023 and now i will close and apply so see guys it takes only few seconds to load entire data which is only one month so rather than loading the last 5 years of data you guys can take any specific time period of data with the help of parameter and you can load that data into power bi desktop and on the basis of that data guys you guys can create any of the report and now let me change the date format from here which is short date and now let's create a small report so let me take this text box visual and here i'll write cricket stats and now i will increase the size of this text and here i'll change the font style let's say arial black and from here guys i will also change the color let's say dark blue and i will place this cricket stats here and now guys let me expand this table and take few visual from here so firstly i am taking one table visual and here under this table visual guys i will take only few columns name let's say cricket names their runs their regions and their strike rates and here under this formatting option guys let me increase the size of this text see guys in this way you guys can also increase or decrease the size of your visual and now guys what i'll do i'll take another visual let's say pie chart and here under pie chart guys i will display country wise runs so here i'll take the country under the legend parameter and under values guys i'll take the runs see guys 
and finally guys i'll take one more card visual from here and under that card visual guys i will display total runs so here i have created a small report so after creating this report guys what you need to do you need to set up incremental refresh and how do we set up guys incremental refresh simply go here under this table and do right click and here we guys can see the option of incremental refresh and firstly guys you need to select this incremental refresh option and you need to turn on this toggle button which is incremental refresh this table so here you guys can enter your dates so let's suppose i want to load that data only last two years although we have created a report on the basis of one month of data of 2023 and once i publish this report into power bi services we can see the report only for the two years so here under this archive data starting so here i will put two and here under this next drop down guys you can see days month quarter and year so i want to load that data into only two years so i will select years here so firstly guys let me enter some values here let's say two and i will select value here as month so what is the meaning guys of this second option which is two month so why i am taking only two month guys because once i publish that data into power bi services so it will load only last two years of data and only last two month data get refresh and based on your project's requirement you guys can change the value so basically in your projects the data get keep refresh after two month so you guys can take two month let's suppose your data get refreshed within 30 days so you guys can enter 30 days here so it totally depend on your project's requirement when your data get refresh and now click apply so in this way we can apply incremental refresh but this concept is not end here so go here into the home tab and now let me publish this report and click save changes so here we can see we have multiple workspaces in power bi services so i will select this my workspace and click here on this select button so guys it's generated a link and now let me click on this link and it directly take me to this power bi services so here we can see the same report which we have created in power bi desktop and from here guys i will select workspaces and i will go here into my workspace and here we can see the incremental refresh report as well as the data set and now guys you need to click here on this three lapses and simply go here in this settings and under setting guys firstly you need to make the gateway connection so i'll scroll it down and i will expand this gateway so here we can see our gateway is in running mode so as i already said guys you should have knowledge about scheduled refresh and gateway and if you guys wants to know about that how to set up and configure the gateway so you guys can take the help of my gateway video which we have in power bi full course playlist from here under this drop down guys i will make the connection with gateway so from here under this drop down guys i will select this excel and now click here on this apply button so see guys incremental refresh gateway connection updated and again guys i will go here in this workspaces and i will select my workspace but before refreshing the data set guys what i'll do let's change some record for the last two years which we have applied in the incremental refresh so i'll go here in this excel file first and now i'll jump into 2023 data so let's say instead of virat kohli guys i'll take kevin peterson and let's change one more record so i'll go here in this november month and instead of shahid afridi guys let me change my name let's say shubham and i'll do control s and close this so here we can see guys in the last two years we have changed some records that means few records are updated and if you guys wants to enter or delete any new record you guys can also do that and now let me close this file and go to power bi services and here under this data set guys you guys can see the refresh button so you need to click this refresh button to refresh the data set so see guys here processing is started that means our data is getting refresh and now i will open this report and let's check the data is updated for the last two years 30 days or not so let me click it here and again you need to click here on this refresh and see guys the moment i clicked here on the refresh button 
our values has changed which is 1 million and here in power bi desktop guys our total runs was 50k which is only one month data and if you see this report guys so here we can see last two year data along with 30 days of refresh and now guys let's check it out we have updated the two records the one record is shubham and the another one was kevin peterson so what i'll do guys to check this thing i'll click here on this edit and see guys, the moment I click here on this edit, I can see the same view just like a Power BI desktop. And here I will take the slicer visual. And under slicer visual guys, I'll take the name column. So I will simply select this creator name and drag and drop here under this slicer visual. See guys, so I want to search only two names like Shubham and Kevin Peterson. So I will simply select this three dots. And here we can see the option of search. So let me search these two records, whether we have updated in this record or not. So firstly I will search Shubham. So I will simply write Shubham here under search bar. See guys, the record has updated here. And now I will check the Kevin Peterson. See guys, Kevin Peterson has also updated. And I hope guys now you have understood how we can apply incremental refresh and how it is useful to deal with large kind of data set. So with the help of incremental refresh guys, you guys can upload specific time period of data instead of loading large data set and on the basis of small data set guys you guys can create your report and set up incremental refresh for the two years three years or whatever it is and you can publish the same report i hope now you are good with this concept and clear your all the doubts of incremental refresh and those who are new to this channel kindly like share and subscribe this channel and don't forget to press this bell icon guys else you will miss an update and those who wants to learn Power BI from scratch. So here we have this free YouTube channel guys, which name is Power BI full course by Shubham. And here under this 50 tutorials guys, I have covered each and every concept in detail. And if you click here on this playlist button guys, so you can see multiple playlists are here like visualization, DAX functions, updates. And we also have this Power BI with SQL. And those guys who wants to start your journey with SQL. So you guys can simply follow this Power BI with SQL playlist. And for the job seekers guys, we have this telegram group where I'm keep posting latest Power BI jobs opening as well as you will also find some latest interview question and answers and people are also asking their doubts in a group. So you don't need to pay anything to anyone for jobs and training. But if you still think guys, you require paid training sessions. So I'm also providing paid training sessions where I'm personally trained candidates from scratch till next level. So for paid sessions guys, you guys can connect me on LinkedIn or Telegram channel. Both the links are given under the description box. You guys can follow me there. Thank you so much guys for your more love and support. Keep learning and keep growing. Thank you so much.